All right, guys, Steven with Diamond Hands Detailing. I'm going to do a quick review of my 5x8 soft and pressure wash setup. Um, I do still have the truck bed auto detailing setup that I use pretty much daily, and then I just drag this along for the house and pressure wash, sometimes for fleet washing too, um, for jobs that need a little more water. But anyway, um, backstory real quick on this trailer. I did not build this from the ground up. I bought it new uh, from a guy on Marketplace. Before I had much knowledge about pressure washing and soft washing, I just kind of took the guy's word for it. I ended up getting the trailer and it was a bit of a hack job. A lot of the equipment didn't work like I was expecting it to. So I have kind of reshaped this, replumbed it, and made it fit my needs that I've found so far with my little experience house washing and concrete cleaning. Um, so to start with the pressure washer setup, I got an 18 horsepower motor here. Uh four gallon a minute machine for the pressure it's a general pump four gallon a minute general pump i got the return to tank line off the unloader valve here um i got an agm battery over here to for the electric start and all that is just for the soft wash setup and lighting that i have on the trailer um this four gallon a minute machine gets the job done i could see why people would want to upgrade to maybe a five and a half However, I've talked to a lot of guys that have like big commercial setups locally with like eight, eight gallon a minute machines and 10 gallon a minute machines. And while that higher flow rate does help with like big concrete cleaning jobs, um, it seems like they always tell me they regret getting rid of their four gallon a minute machine just because you don't go through as much water. Um, and like normal residential house washing, you really don't need eight gallons a minute to get the job done quick. Um, so moving forward, I have this plumbed from the tank here. Now this plumbing setup here for the pressure tank and the soft wash tank came with a trailer. So I haven't changed much of that. It comes directly out of the tank. This feeds up here. There's a ball valve to prevent this supply hose from leaking. Um, but this goes gravity fed directly to the tank there. And that's three quarter inch plumbing now this is a supply line so i would hook this up to the customer's water source and that would fill the tank i have a hundred foot of pressure line here and i have another hundred foot extended uh, pressure line in the truck for the jobs i need more hose on um from the tank to the back of the trailer i have this little t that comes up to fill my soft wash tank i have a 30 gallon water tank and a 30 gallon sodium hypochlorite tank back there this is all pretty much completely separate from this big water tank other than the fill line. So when that runs out of water, I can just open that valve and it'll gravity feed into there. I wanna get a motorized pump there in the future, but it's not super necessary. For the back part of the trailer, the soft wash setup, uh, I have a half inch proportioner. I actually got this off eBay. Um, like I said, this is pretty much a, I would say a budget setup. However, I just didn't buy anything that was um, super unnecessary. Like I don't need a $600 proportioner set up on this little 12 volt, seven gallon a minute De Delavan pump. Um, the, the way that this is run though, I got the water, water line here. It's running to the water tank, sodium hypochlorite drop stick over there to my SH line. And then I have a soap tank over there, which I'll show you in just a second. All that is pulled by a Delavan seven gallon a minute machine here. It's all half inch plumbed. I'll kind of show you how this works. Um, it's great for house washing, shoots pretty far. I can shoot pretty high. Um, I can even rinse with that setup pretty well. It puts out a lot of water. So even with half inch, I've had a lot of people say, it might run better with three quarter inch. However, I would have to replumb literally everything and get a three quarter inch proportioner, which I don't really feel like investing in right now. Um, real quick, this little box here has a voltmeter in it so I can see what my soft wash battery level is. Uh, I have a control switch for my traffic advisor light bar when I'm on commercial jobs or I have to like park in the street. That's really nice to have. Makes me feel safe. Um, Anyway, I got a sodium hypochlorite tank here, um, surfactant tank here, literally just a five gallon Harbor Freight bucket. I've never run out of soap. I usually 
don't even use soap on some jobs, only when I really need it to stick to the surface, like on a vertical surface, a fence or house. Um, I got this little breather on here. So I read on a forum page that if you gas your sodium hypochlorite tank when it sits, your stuff won't corrode as bad when you use it. And I've actually found that to be pretty true. I don't, I don't seem to find myself needing to douse this thing with WD-40 as much as I used to. It's dirty, but it's in great shape. Um, and that seems to actually help. Uh, on this side, <clears throat> I have a rack that was built by the custom shop here in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, they built it to spec to fit my BE surface cleaner. It walks on here, it stays really still. And then I have this rack. This is like a wedge setup for this ladder. Um, it's got a lock on it and they put some little spots for brooms and whatnot here. But it all fits really compact. It works well. It's not noisy riding down the road or anything. It's actually really awesome. I was super happy with that. Um, <clears throat> last thing here, I'm gonna try to show you. So right there, you'll see my downstream injector, which would obviously go in line with my pressure line. Um, now the only kind of inconvenient thing with that is I do have to like shut the, the pump off so I can take the downstream injector out of the line when I use it. However, I just haven't had the business or found it necessary to spend that much money on a downstream setup. Um, and that runs, I literally just have it zip tied and I run that quarter inch hose into a half inch pipe here and use it as a drop stick so the hose doesn't curl up. Um, and I just drop that in the bleach tank when I'm downstreaming. But that pretty much sums the trailer up. It's a very simple, compact, setup is very efficient um only only advice i'd have for somebody that's new to this trade where you're spraying with sodium hypochlorite a lot is keep spare parts i go through so many o-rings and so many fittings hoses i mean it, it just kind of never ends which is why you can get away with charging a little more for this type of service but um i don't think I don't foresee ever needing to upgrade from this. I may eventually get a five and a half gallon a minute machine, which I have room for on this trailer. But as for the big setup with a burner and everything on it for residential work, this is all I need. I've had a lot of happy customers since I started. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, drop a comment, please like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.